Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Jason Mraz called I'm Yours. And it starts on the G major chord, and we're going to take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. The second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and the third finger goes to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And we're going to start out on a couple of Gs, and then we go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the high E on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, just D, G, B, and E, then that'll give you your clear sound out of that, and that's called D major. It sounds really, really happy. And then from D major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger goes to the A on the second fret. The second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from E minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And basically, our, our intro starts just like that. We got G major, G major, D major, D major, E minor. C major, G major, G major, D major, D major, E minor, E minor, C major, C major. But a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern to it. And my favorite 4-4 four, four strum pattern is a down, down, up, up, down, up. So, for instance, if we took the G chord and just did that a lot just to get used to it, we have G with down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we want to do that a lot just to kind of get used to it. But if we tried that through our, our intro and our, our verse progression, we have G with down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up. right before the chorus, um, there's kind of a, a push right on an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger goes to the D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A major chord, which is actually going to kind of turn up in our bridge too. But that happens right before we go to our chorus, and I mean, our chorus really is the same progression as, as our verse. So if we go through our chorus, we have a G down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G 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 down, down, up, up, down, really different from that um, is where we've got our bridge part and our bridge starts on a G major and then a D major E minor D major C major C major A major A major so we tried the bridge with our strum pattern we have our G with down down up up down D down down up up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, 
kind of play along with the song. Now, a couple things you may want to want to want to try and and kind of add to it is sometimes instead of doing a, a down down up up down up, what I like to do is I'll, I'll substitute in the bass note for the chord on the first down. So it's something I call the bass down up up down up. So for instance, if you took the G chord and instead of doing the strum first strum over all the strings, if you took and just kind of played the low E string as kind of your bass note for that chord, because that's the lowest note with the name G on the guitar, is that low E third fret, and then did your down up. Up, down, up, bass, down, up. G major with low E bass, down up, up down G with low E bass, down up, up down D with the D bass, down up, up down D with the D bass, down up, up down E minor with low E bass, down up, up down E minor with low E bass, down up, up down C with the A bass, down up, up down C with the A bass, down up, up down G with low E bass, down up, up down G with low E bass, down up. Tried that through your bridge part, which is the only part that's really different. You have her you know, through the bridge. You got <laughs> bridge. You got G with low E bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down A with the A bass down up. Instead of starting on a, on a G major chord, um, Jason Mraz is actually starting on a B major chord. So what you want to do is, is, is take a capo, and we're going to put it on 4th fret, and now your G major chord is really a B major chord, your D major is really an F sharp major chord, your E minor is really a G sharp minor, and your C major is really an E major. And when we get to it, the A major is really a C sharp major. So if we're going to try that with the bass down, up, up, down, up, just to kind of walk through the team, you'd have our intro with the low E bass. Down, up, up, down, G with low E bass. Down, up, up, down, D with the D bass. Down, up. Bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down
tried that the three chord progression we have G with the low E bass down up up down D with the D bass down up up down D minor with the low E bass down up up down D with the D bass down up up down C with the A bass down up up down C with the A bass down So then we're back to our G down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down G with the D bass down up, up down G with the D bass down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down C with the L down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down G with the low E bass down up, up down G with the D bass down up, up down G with the D bass down up, up down G with the low E bass down up. Blocking thing where we're just doing downs on each chord. D E minor with a down, C with a down, and then we kind of back to our chord progression again. So we had our G with a low E bass down, up, up down G with a low E bass down, up, up down G with a D bass down. Up. So anyway, that's the basics of how you could play I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. So, good luck!